shit, kill that bitch. Being prank is see that guy remember this shit. Remember this shit. Remember this shit. Remember this shit. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with Dylan the poet. Dylan the poet. Almighty, almighty king, man. You got to know it and respect it. Got Yo, to. much love for you coming out with you, fam. Hey, I really appreciate you taking time out of your journey to come out and share some of your, your time and grace with us, man. I got to let everybody know. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your rabbit, your dog, your reptile, that oh, I cat. I that one. You need to subscribe. Oh. What are you doing with your life anyway? Ah. Oh, you hear that, ladies? <laughs> man, say He's dropping pennies over there, man. <laughs> you don't want the smoke? Man, here on the Kings and Queen podcast, energy. we do it good. Energy. Great so, great energy. how was your day, man? I gotta ask you, right off the rip, before we get into it, how was your day? It's been blessed. It's been blessed. I had to, you know, take care of some life things, but um, That's yeah, it's been good. That's real, man. Hey, I'm glad that life could allow us to be able to come out and do this and show the world and make history today and show that there are ways you can always reach a whole lot of different people. I made that up off the dome. <laughs> Shit, I'm cold with it. Uh, I always got some reach. So, Dele de Poets. That's it, Ron. Dele, Dele like Pele, the soccer player. I'm going to add this person on to wear it. Okay, you can, I mean, yeah, whatever, whatever. Said, Say Dele. Dele, you know Pele, the soccer player, right? Pele. Pele? No, I don't watch soccer. Oh, it's an old soccer player. It's called, but um, um, it's D E L E, so it's De. De. Le. Le. De. De. Le. 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 Like L E H. Le. Yeah, Dele. 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 Dele, 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 Dele. It's really a song when you say it. Because in all. Dele, Dele, the poet. Dele, the poet. Dele, the poet. Dele, the poet. The poet. Oh, the poets. Was, you gotta sing, sing, sing it with me. Dele the poet. Dele the poet. Dele the poet, y'all. Hey, you know, hey. It's like a song, you know? Okay. It, yeah, you just gotta say it like that every time. Any, anytime you say my name, you have to say it like that. 1,000. Dele the poet. See, I'm teaching him how to say my name correctly. Anybody that says my name, you have to say my name correctly. That's big facts. All respect to the king. And for real, for real. For sure. Take time to learn. Don't just try to brush by it, bro. Take some time to learn. That's how you, that's real love. Respect, real respect. respect language, respect your culture, respect yourself. And uh, it's truth. 1,000. So. Dele the poet. <laughs> Dele the poet. As a Nigerian artist, brother. Honestly. What are some... Similarities that you see in Nigeria and Africa today. Oh, that's well. That that was the next question because I think the the, the biggest similarity is within the language. Okay. Okay. Within the language. Okay. Because uh, when I went out there, I was in Nigeria for some time Word. and uh, for a couple months. And um, how was it? It was it was it was fun, but it was like a, a very enlightening time. Like. I, I thought I was gonna be a light in a certain way, and I was coming out of some other things. Right. But when I went there and I was there, I kind of just learned some things about myself, learned some things about my culture, man. You know, and and I kind of just, I think that's why I saw it was a whole lot of similarities, you yeah. know, between over there and over here. How's the the scenery out there? I mean, you got the you got everything like just every. It, it looks like anything you'll see here, like honestly, because you, you know if you go downtown go downtown, they have clubs and everything. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to the city, I was living in Lagos. They have apartments, everything, you know, some of the streets are messed. You can go to the slums, they got ghettos, like, you know? So it's like, okay. they have very rich parts, very, you know. Yeah. I've seen a lot, so I don't know. They have everything, you can go to the zoo if you want. I didn't see any animals. I know everyone always wants to ask that one. Yeah. Okay. I know they have a zoo though, but I didn't see any like, I think I seen some chickens or something. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, that pollo for all y'all Hispanics out there watching it. <laughs> chicken, I don't know any of that I want chicken. Okay. No chicken. And, uh... Were there maybe any small differences that you may have seen? Yeah, definitely. There's, there's always some differences. Like, um... You know, with here, uh, the government really takes care of a lot of things. Mm. Like, as far as, like, there is like just because of the way it was built systematically, and there's still they just got their yeah. um, independence from 
English, maybe in like, what was it, 1960s, 70s, or something wow. like that. Yeah, yeah. So as in, you know, uh, the government is the one that's, I don't know, I don't want to just bash them because, but, no, of course. But, but there's certain things, you know, here that, like streets and stuff right, like that, yeah. like, it's just some small things, like, there's definitely differences. Right. But, you know. That's understandable. So, when was the last time you visited? And uh, what part of Nigeria? I know you spoke, you said it earlier, but this is for the audience, so they, so they can understand it here. Yeah, yeah, I went to uh, Nigeria, um, I went to Lagos, Nigeria, that's where I was at, but um, I also went back to where my grandma stays, mm -hmm. which is um, Elisha, where, where it's actually where my father is from, it's my village, you know, it's called Elisha, it's in Ocean State. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 so you have the, uh, from Lagos is the, the city. Lagos is like New York. You mm. know, here it's like okay. a lot of people come into one place. Yeah. And a lot of people just hustling. That's yeah. what I saw. Like oh, a lot real. of people definitely just hustling. Everyone. A lot of people just making them anything do everything. Right. Me? Like I just uh the work ethic is a little different. Not that the work ethic is a little different, it's that like, you know, when you're coming from not too much, not too many ways. You try to, right? You have to you, either either you're hopeless or it really, really drives you. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what you see out of a lot of people. So like with them, when I went out there, it's a lot of poverty. Right. There's a lot of good things going on, but there, we don't have the same resources there sometimes that yeah. are easier to access here. So like when I went out there, I was recording music. Okay. But I was recording music in like an army area, a military area. Right. And then inside the military area, it was like a market area. Dang. And we were actually recording inside of a storage closet, which was not even as, it wasn't very big to, like my back was against the wall, you have the studio here. Yeah, it was so you recorded around a, uh, a military facility? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Army barracks. So you the see barracks. So I'm going there every day, I'm taking the bus, you know. Yeah. Public church station going there. It's in the middle of like. Are you, so you hustling, hustling. You put in you that hard effort. I mean, I, I was just I was out there grinding. I'm, yeah. I was out there for a purpose. I was. How long were you out there for? About three and a half months. Word. Yeah. Dog. Dog. Hey man. Say. The second time. Listen, man. Cause anytime y'all want to gain some knowledge about Nigeria, especially from a musical standpoint, this is your time. The day of the poet. He gonna show you that it's the time to get some jewels, I'm not, man. A, I'm not an expert on Nigerian music, but, you know, I can maybe point you in the right direction. Hey, sometimes that's all people need, man. Seriously, okay, okay. seriously, for real. So, who ins whom inspires you to become the king that you are today? And what or whom helps you get through troubling times or adversity? I mean, it's not. It's never just one thing that inspires a person. I don't think. I feel as though through your life you're inspired by multiple things. Certain things inspire different things. It's a cause and effect. Sometimes. I'm asking the wrong question. What gets you out of bed every morning? Ah, see, thinking questions here. We getting there. What gets you? What gets me out of bed? Um, I st uh. At this point, I want everybody to don't pause the video, keep it going. Just go get some popcorn. Keep go get some popcorn. Crazy. Get some water. Go go get your mom. Tell her come watch. Cause it's getting live. It's getting live in here. Keep on watching. Cause one thing that helped me get out of bed, cause sometimes I also suffer through depression and just also dealing with struggles. I know I don't like to use the whole, you know, mental illness and so forth, but what helps me get out of bed is just to understand knowing, not that I'm running from my family, but knowing I want to see what's on the other side of the grass. Knowing that each day that I'm waking up, it's like, all right, everybody say wealth is supposed to be like this on the other side. Well, I want to see. If it's not that, then I'll go shoot myself in the bathroom right now and call it a day. I think I've seen wealth, I've seen poverty. Money is not really the motive, it's right. a tool, you know? So money is money, it's good to have money. Right. I'm not saying you don't need money, you need money, but money
money is not the reason I do anything. You okay, yeah. Like repeat that. Um, I I basically well. No, I'm saying should I repeat? Oh no, no, you good, you good. Okay, okay. So yeah, the money's not the motive. But I'm still waiting. What gets dead the poet out of bed every day? You know, that, especially on those days when you don't want to get out of bed. It, I, I guess I don't live like that. That's that's a crazy question to me because it's like I like that. I wanna if I if I if I if I wake up, it's a blessing. I'm grateful. I'm more I'm more grateful than anything. So like like I done been through a lot in my life. Like I've seen some things. I've been through some things. I I, I felt like I was never supposed to make it out of. Okay. Now so, what helps you get through those things? Um. I don't know. It's not it's not for me. It's it's. A higher power, That's right. uh, life, it That's is right. what it is, um, luck, I don't, luck. I don't Blessings. know. I don't like Blessings. Blessings. Yeah. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. Where I, I don't like to force my beliefs on other people, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But definitely, definitely, I feel like my creator, the most high, he, he, he put that in us. So, like my problem has never been surviving. Yeah. I know I'm going to survive. It's, not, it's right. not about surviving for me. If I just wanted to survive, I could I could live forever. Okay. You know, I really it's just things that I want to do. You know. Okay. Okay. It's definitely things that need to be proven and finished. Okay. Let's go deeper. If you don't mind me asking, what are those things that you, that need to be proven, and what is that you want to prove? Um, I think. It's always, I feel like it's always good to, you know, like, in life, finding your purpose. That's always, like, the one thing that people struggle to find, you know. And I feel like I, I my own purpose has to do with me um, serving it and through a lot of the things that I've been through. It's like... I forgot the question. I spoke too much. <laughs> the question was, what are the things, what what gives you, what is the purpose? Well, what, what are the things that you're trying to prove and what is the purpose? I mean, I just want to, you know, it's not that I'm trying to prove. It's just that when you when you tell the world something, like, no one no one outside of you can tell you who you are. But but it's people that don't understand. Right. So my ultimate goal in life is is really is really to to gain more understanding. Yeah. Of 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 this, if anything comes after this. But while I'm here, if I'm here, I want to be. I want to understand it. And um, for me, understanding is the same thing as love. You know. So. Um, I don't know. It's not that I'm trying to prove anything. It's just yeah, that I I want to be understood. By a lot mean. of people, and I and I want people to understand me. I want to be understood because I know that what I want to convey and what I want to give is of quality, is of good use, is is, is a good thing. Yeah. So you know, I, yeah, definitely. You, you said understanding is love. That was some. That's really fucking deep, bro. Like that's that's some gems. I I want I want to pick at that. Why is understanding love, or how is it? Wait, what is love? If 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 somebody asks me what is love, I, I would say it's understanding. That's the that's You know, good. I grew up on the Bible, I grew up in Christianity, you know, so like it's it's one of those things, you know, in, in the Bible it says love is patient, love is kind, love does not but love does you know, love yeah. is, all of these things that love is. And even if you look at things like that, just through my life I'm I'm thinking about my own experiences with love, uh love that I've seen. When you think about love, it, it, it comes down to understanding. It, it all comes down to understanding. Because I feel like I, I initially thought it was understanding and uh, respect. Right. But respect goes into understanding. That's real. For real, for real. Because you can't, you can't respect something you don't understand. You understand? So. That's actually. So, like, I think, I think Africa also helped me understand what love is and understand these things because. When I went to Africa, the biggest thing that I learned was language, yeah. language, language, yeah. and that was a difference that I saw. That the, they they respected language, yeah. not the people, yeah. but the people not like not consciously always, but like through the culture, right. 
you have to respect the language. Like when you talk to your grandma, it's not it's not like thank you is like the biggest word that I heard the most out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, you use that word the most. And and in Yoruba, thank you is uh, shit yeah, or oh shit. Or oh, shit. Or oh, shit. So oh shit, if I'm talking to you, I'm gonna say oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, thank you, thank you, you know. Yeah. But but if I'm talking to my grandma, if I'm talking to maybe an elder, somebody older than me, somebody with authority, yeah. I'm saying thank you. You not change the word automatically to oh shit. Like how we have masculine and feminine. Yeah. There's yeah. The older, yeah. That's dope. Off, but that's built into the culture. So there's a lot of things like that that's built into it to yeah. where it's like you're doing it unconsciously so it makes you check check that in your head that's right you know yeah, yeah. So, so like i know there's a there's a thing it's called pigeon english it's called broken english yeah yeah, yeah. um that's really it's it's, it's like slang now yeah. I, I like the similar to the ebonics okay so when i was out there they used to ask questions like they used to when they see you they'll say how far yeah or how you date yeah you know yeah you said I was like I was just trying to figure out what it meant because before I didn't understand and then I I started getting to understanding what 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 this broken English I thought it was broken because yeah. none of the stuff was making sense to me I'm like what are you talking about right but then I started just thinking about it it's, it has to I'm 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 learning that this Africa thing is, is a lot deeper these people are not stupid you know right. these people are not uneducated right so I'm like why are you saying this you're not asking me how's my day how you day what does that mean how how you day I learned that everything was having meaning. They, they, the reason for the pigeon English and the broken English, they were trying to make understanding of, of the colonialism. You know, they mm. were colonized by Britain, yeah, right. Great Britain. So when they brought English there, this is a foreign language. You got different people, yeah. different tribes that got co cut right. into this one country. Now you have th over 300 different languages in Nigeria really? alone. That's insane. That's insane. It's, it's madness. Yeah, I bring it all the set of stones too. But well, people don't understand this aspect of it, so it's right. not, you know, right. it helps understand what's going on too. But that's a whole other thing. Yeah. But language, they have the ebonics. So I mean, not the ebonics, the pigeon, the broken English. Right. It's really the market language. When you're going around, people are talking this way. You know, you can, you can. It's way everybody can understand each other. That's you know, right. English and that one. Yeah, that's dope. So, but that's what the street dudes was talking about. Like the young kid, yeah. you know, the yeah. musicians, that's what they're using to sing in their music. They're that's using right. that because it's 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 more universal. accessible, universal yeah. as far as Africa is concerned. That's one thousand. That's one thousand. But with it though, they'll say how you did or how far. This yeah. is like a greeting. Yeah. So instead of saying what's up, I'll say to you how far. Yeah. So like I said, I started looking into why is this saying it? how far? What are you talking about? How far? What does that mean? How far? So I, I finally realized that asking how far are you, how far are you, how far is your life, how far are, they're asking you something because what's up? It's not asking you anything. What's up? The ceiling is up. Yeah. Or... Already. All right. One, two, and three. What's up, everybody? We are back. My memory card was full, so I have to go ahead and pack another one up in here. So, we are back, and we are going to start back off with... Dad and Poet! Dad and Poet! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Man. So. That way, that way. The music. How did you find your soul in the music? And how did you start playing into music? Did anybody inspire you? Or what inspired you to get into this? Um, I, uh, that's a, like, three questions. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna answer one. I was gonna answer two. Okay, oh, wait, my bad, my bad. Um, I mean, I answer, I yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay, so what inspired um, the music was definitely inspired by like love, okay. pain, pain and love. Yeah, definitely. So now I'm gonna ask you. Cause you said understanding was love. Mm -hmm. So. Help me understand. I, I'm, I'm I think the pain came with the misunderstanding of what love was. Okay. And, and thinking that it was something that it really wasn't. We're talking about music? We're talking about love. Right, right, right. Which is my love for music and everything else that moves, it moves off of love. Right, right, right. So, I'm talking about everything. Okay. 
So, was there a certain song? Was there a certain album? That yeah, first uh, you I, I started. I started. I started music with poetry. If okay. you wanna, if there was a, any direct time, yes, I was in church. You know, I did that all the choir things, stuff like that. But my first one was actually a poem okay. about a girl that mm. you know, I thought I loved. You know, my yeah. puppy love thing kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it was some years later, and I had wrote it because I was thinking about some old things, and that was on it. And th she was kind of my inspiration. And so, but. That was like my first poem, and I was really just writing. I didn't even know I could do poetry, but right. I guess um, um, Tupac definitely inspired a lot, a lot of that because sometime during elementary, I, I got big onto Tupac because right. they asked me to do a biography of someone. They said, you have to pick someone you yeah. like, and I hated writing essays, the irony. Yeah, all right, but... Um, <laughs> no ghost writer here. Never, I never. Straight never, from never. the man himself. Always. But um, I used to hate writing, and you know, elementary, middle school, high school, everything. You try to get me to write. I'm not trying to. I'll, yeah. I'll sit there and look at the paper for <laughs> four hours. My mom would be yelling, "You need to do that." Yeah. She'll come back two hours later. I have one word deep, not even one word. Maybe a race stuff. Yeah. Should be beating. <laughs> I'm just yeah. joking. No, no, no. But no, I was I was not serious when it came to writing at all. Yeah. But when um. What's the question again? Oh, oh well, yeah. The first one that I, I was, I really, uh, you know, being manly and stuff like that, you don't really take on the poetry sometimes. Right. But uh, I had did a biography. She was like, pick somebody that you would enjoy. And I was like, I don't like reading. I don't want to write. Yeah. Tupac. I like Tupac. Tupac's dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first thing that came to my head, you know, I like music, so. I started, I didn't. I knew a little bit of about him, you know, his right. big songs or whatever, and some of the movies, and, but when I did the biography, I actually read a book. Yeah, then, one second. Y'all hear that, people? A young king OG giving respect and love to the older OGs. I don't want to hear no respect. disrespect here now. You have to respect. What is, how, how can you not respect them? Mm. The, the people that came before you. A thousand. Like I'm saying, I wouldn't even, you know, we sparked that. You even said that you manifested that. Yeah. So would you do poetry contests today? Uh, I could, but I don't really want to. My my, my poetry is now turned into music. Uh -huh. So so I'm still doing poetry, but it's just okay. with a little bit different structure. Okay. 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 Now help me understand. When you started writing poetry, you you, you wrote you started on Tupac as one of your songs. Uh, well, I just yeah, I was writing a biography on Tupac, right. and then I noticed that he did poetry. He had poetry books mm. and stuff like that. Okay, okay. And people didn't know, you know, he went to acting school. He had he had a whole poetry book though. Like, okay, he so used to write poetry heavily. Help me bridge the gap. While you're writing poetry, when did you transfer over to the music side? Um. A little bit of time. And I was, why did you, by the way? Well, when I first started writing poetry, you know, like I said, it's not really the most masculine thing that's seen as like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. But you so, still, man, y'all no, still but do I, anything, At yeah. the time, you know, I was young, so I, I mean, I was like, what? I think when I wrote it, first poem in like freshman year? Yeah. No, sophomore year, probably sophomore year. That's real. So like, I wasn't, I'm not seeing that. I, I always, you know been all right guy, you know, but I just didn't really want to necessarily be seen as the poetry guy, yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, when I wrote that, it was something that was just there for me, just to let some emotions out and, and, and thoughts out, really, that I was thinking about. Yes, see, it's one, see, how do you release some of those stressful times? It, Definitely, poetry. the music is healing, music. poetry was the starter. Yeah, okay, see, see? Definitely a healing process. Yeah, fine. So, I know it was a little work, but people, try to find a way to, if you're going through adversities and challenges, try to find different avenues to release those stressful times and any type of aggression or anything that you may go through. Just, there are different avenues, there are ways, so. Definitely. Take note of that. You know, being, you know, it's hard to, sometimes, I, I never really trust the people. I never okay. really uh, trust anybody. So, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. 
at the right trust rate today. Y'all, y'all look shady out there, man. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all is a little shady out there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna still fuck with y'all though, but y'all are shady. Uh, slugs. Shots, shots, shots. Man, shot, shot, shot. <laughs> it's in the shots. Ah, oh, it's all free smoke, it's all free smoke, man. <laughs> and we stand alone. Man. Free smoke, free smoke. Man, for real. So, um, <laughs> lately I just watched uh, an interview of Akon at the Breakfast Club, and he spoke on a lot of different things, like cryptocurrency, I know we talked about that. My man, he is well versed, man. Y'all, ladies, I don't know, no gold diggers over here, but hey. Mind, bro. I sharp. like can go sharp. straight to the ladies. I had now, no problem. It went thousand. In fact, where is your mom? Ha! No, no, no. <laughs> it's ah! Good <laughs> tell her to come over too. Oh no, for real, I definitely take it. I cut the A limit off at 70 in case y'all were wondering. Yeah, you, you have to say it, man. Yeah. Right. Where's your mom? Where is your mom? Where's your mom? Where is she? You don't even know. She, I know. I know where she's at. Right now, I know where she's at. Do you? Ah, <laughs> uh, we ain't gonna tell you either, Jeff. We ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Hype. Shout out to Hype. You know, so those are the, 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 the chairman. Where's your mom? T-shirts are coming soon. Everyone is, everyone is. You need to, 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 to learn, because nobody knows. No, seriously. Um, but we know. We do. So, um, after watching Akon's interview and talking about cryptocurrency and so forth, um, he also spoke on Afrobeats a little bit. Do you feel that Afrobeats can, can or will take over the sound in the U.S.? Hmm. I feel like our music is African music. That's 1000, okay. I fuck with that, I fuck with that, for real, okay. So, why do you feel that way? Because our people are African, so mm. our music came from Africa, hip hop yes. came from Don't Africa. be sensitive, people. I know y'all, I got some diversity. No, 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 be sensitive. hip hop is, is black culture, definitely. Yeah. But, but black culture comes, is the same as African culture. African right. culture is the same. It comes, if you, if you it, it runs hands in hands. Right, no That's why I said so many similarities, but when you, you know, we've been through these separate circumstances, so now we're looking at each other like, you ain't been through what we've been through. Right. And then the other side is like, you yeah. haven't been through what we've been through. Yeah. And both sides are right, you know, but yeah. I think we've both been through something. I, I think we can definitely come together for a, a, a common, you know, yeah. that's a common thing. Good ass collaboration. Same. For sure. Um, Most powerful people on our earth. The richest little. continent. Oh yeah, the most powerful people on the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. richest continent, and it is too. The richest continent always has been and always will be. And if you don't agree, go look how much of you is in, is in debt too. So, go, go read the book. Um, it's just the right book. Cause I don't want y'all to read that Satanism shit. Oh, Satanism. I, I, <laughs> I even reject any energy like that one. They don't know. The way that you even said it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even sure we're sitting y'all even talking about. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know that one. Yeah, you need to be very careful. I said language. You need to respect language. In Africa, we know that language manifests. Oh, yes, That's, true. You know, growing yeah. up, your mom, my mom would be speaking to me. She would say, uh, you would be the head and not the tail. Yeah. You, would be, you would be for signs and for wonders. You would be for greatness and not for destruction. You know, you're here to build another street. It, I think that was an African thing or a Nigerian thing. You know, right. they speak good things on your kid's life or that's good. your loved one's life. Cause they really don't. I doubt. Cause I hear dog. That's real. One thousand. It, it comes. Real. It comes with respect to the language. Though. Yeah. So when you don't have those, you know, those pillars sometimes to stop, you know, the structure. Right. Then you kind of, as humans, we do what we, yeah. we want to. That's real. That's and sometimes it's, you know, these things are there. Traditions are there sometimes for good reasons. No, nah, traditions that's not bad, you know. So. Man, he got me some wisdom, man. I need to go get me some more tradition because you need to go to Africa, come home, go to the mother, man. Man, I got my passport. We can go anytime you're ready, fam. Hey, whenever you're ready, it's here. Nah, for real, I'm dead serious. I'm so. dead serious. I'm even waiting to go back. I need to go back. 
bro. I want to see that. I, once I got a trip in Atlanta, we in October. Let me know you can go there too. We are gonna party. Um, so when you performing mentality, mentality, how is the crowd? Where's the feeling you get when you're on stage? Um, man, uh, mentality was uh. Like I was saying, I started music uh, to as a healing process, okay. as to get out those emotions. So recently, like last year, I, I just got a studio to okay. where I was recording. My, appreciate it to where I recorded myself and mixing my own music. And so my first one that I did, my first project was Meet Me at the Top, yeah. and I did that one in July. But I, I, didn't, that too. I didn't record everything, I just put it together. You right. know, I recorded some songs on there. It was kind of sloppy to me. Yeah. In my, in my, not to play myself, it's a good project compared yeah. to everyone else. You better be talk your shit, yeah. man. Yeah. If we want it's Dele the Poet, goddammit. That shit is fire. Dylon, Dele, Dele, and Dele. No, but honestly, it, it was fire or whatever, but you know, yeah. I've grown from that. So, okay. when I did it, I kind of rushed it just because of circumstances that were going on. Right. It was something I just felt like needed to be heard, and I put it out. Um, as soon as I put it out, I kind of got really cringy with it. It was kind of just felt rushed. I didn't like it. I did it myself. It was my first time really right. doing that. So it wasn't, the, you know, the first time yeah. you do something, it's not always going to be the best. So it was a lot of critique on my end. Right. But it was a good project. But from that time, I started just working on stuff because I had my own studio. So it was times where I was just getting going through things mm -hmm. um, life and um, emotionally um, mentally just thinking about things spiritually I was getting a lot of energy out it was times where I just got energy out yeah and I was I always wanted to have that I never had that I always had to struggle find well you know pay for a studio time find a studio find a good studio first I'm trying to pay for a good studio right. I don't have the money then I, find, I have the money. I don't have a good studio to go to. I'm still, you know. Yeah. So it's like it was going through that bal balance and trying to find. Then I finally found. Hey, shout out to Bud Beats. If you in Dallas, we need an engineer. Bud Beats is the best. Hmm. Period. Hey, one thousand. Period. No, honestly, but um, but he really helped with a lot of stuff. That and he was like the one that I found. You know. Yeah. That was really on um, it. It really helped me grow my sound. But um. It's always good to do things yourself. So, okay. um, so as an engineer, a producer, an artist, and what else? What other? What else do what what you do with your own studio that you built with your own <laughs> and, and invested in? Man, what and how much time do you invest in your craft? Time. Yes. <laughs> All of it. What are you saying? All of <laughs> uh, it. Honestly, like now, I only, all of it. it was the time I was working and doing all of these things. I'm putting money towards this and this and that, but I didn't have the time. To, you know, um, God blessed me through through uh, a thing that I saw as maybe like a struggle or a fall back or a fall down, and to where I had just got the studio and I had it, but I wasn't using it for that purpose. I right. was just trying to learn it and everything. Yes. Um, I, I went into a fact where I lost my job due to outside people and stuff like that. Right, right, right. Um, it kind of forced me to really kind of figure out a way to keep going with no money, you know? That's real. Keep going with no That's source real. of income and, and find a way to make it work. Right. At the same quality, at the same. Yeah. You know? That's dope. So, um, <clears throat> so taking time. To learn it, <clears throat> excuse me, I gotta commend you for real because I have a homie, he's trying to take some time to learn. He's telling me how strenuous and how time consuming Definitely. it's a fucking pain in the ass, he said. And I mean, he, he, he loves this shit, but he said, just learning and all that shit, it's, it's just tough, man. I wanna congratulate you and give you props for taking time to do that all on your own, especially losing your job too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's real hustle and grind. A lot of people say, um, Shit, if you read past me, I quit your job and let's see what if you're gonna do. Man, it. I don't suggest you. Yeah, no, nah, don't do it. <laughs> make though. a plan. Yeah, guys, damn, nah. make a plan. But um, but yeah. hey, probably that you, even though the universe didn't have a plan and it did that for you, the universe always has a plan. It, it but. just it made it made it. You know, I'm saying that that struggle, but you know, 
that you did that, to bro. grow, you have to be uncomfortable sometimes. That's what that Sometimes it's, you you have to be inspired. You know? Like I said, I'm, I'm inspired by a lot of pain and a lot of love. So if, you know, sometimes that's how, I, you know, I'm hard-headed. That's how I get the yeah. kind of get their motor going sometimes. So. Okay. So with all that time-consuming work that you put into your crowd, they say you put over 1,000 hours or 10,000 hours, you'll get there. I watched an um, interview with Rick Ross, and he was saying how he only gets like three or four hours of sleep, and um, it is practically the same. How much sleep do you get, and is sleep important? Honestly, right, anybody that knows me, um, it's just, I don't know, anybody that knows me, it's, it's really something that I like to do. This is something that I want to do. This is not something that I'm forcing myself, and nobody by force, you know? Yeah. So, so like, I, I'm not, this is how I'm living my life. I, I, I'm making music about what's going on in my life, the things that I see, the things that I've experienced. So like, all of this is going in and, and I can't just be, I don't know, I spend every 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 time, even if I'm doing something else, it's it's always gonna have a way to fall back to the music to help in some way. Okay. It doesn't matter what I'm doing because everything, my, that's the way that I'm walking, that's the road that I'm on, that's the path that I'm on. Like, you know, I always say like, I remember someone told me actually, it was like, I'm like, how do you, you know, how do you know what to do next? Like, how do you always know where to go? You right. Know? It was like, I know, you know, it's not that I know what to do. Right. None of us really know what to do. Right. If we know what to do, we'll be everywhere that we need to be. Every That's time. so sweet. But, you know, you know, it's knowing where you want to go. Yeah. Because when you know where you want to go, it's like, once you see that building over there, once you see the Empire State Building. Right. You know, okay, I need to walk this direction. I'm not gonna be, you might be seeing side stores right here, side look. If, um, you're not just gonna walk into any store, you know? Like, right. if, if if you're just walking, you don't have no anywhere to go, you're trying to make it to a good place. You right. might have everything that you need, but if you're just walking, you might walk in every store, every store that you see that looks interesting. Right. You're gonna waste a lot of time, that's, you know? You might still get to where you need to go, but it'll, it'll definitely take longer. You know? You'll go through a lot of shit that you don't need to, even need to see. Yeah, and then that, and you'll be the first person to be uh, was that, a trendsetter and a path maker. Because now everybody, cause you can create a map. That's dope. Yeah, for sure. Well, if you wanted to. You know, you can let everybody else, you know what I'm saying? They're finally young, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, yeah, once, you know, once you see where you want to go, I think um, it's not always about knowing what to do next, but just to keep going in that direction. And I think once you start walking on that path, it's gonna you're gonna meet some people that are going in the same direction, or maybe not to the same place, but maybe to the same city. Okay, okay, I fuck with that. Okay, I fuck with that. So with that being said, in the streaming era, how do you grow your fan base, and how do you promote music? Man, I promote my music. The quality music, my music is better than your favorite rapper's music. No, I'm just playing. But um, no, I just like making good music, quality music. I think when I first started making music, my biggest thing was like I didn't like certain types of music. And I've broadened my perspective now, but it was like I I need a little substance. Okay. I need a little substance. It's just you can't just I, I can listen to trap and stuff like that, but it just you got to be talking about something for me to really be listening. So it's like for me, I just want um, good music, quality music, music that's gonna maybe pass this era. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. music that lasts. You know, one thousand for the great great grandkids. Yeah, touch on and get remember like Marvin Gaye. Legacy, legacy, legacy. That's dope. No, I'm sorry, Jay. So I want to ask you now the legacy. I know speaking about not knowing where we need to go, but knowing where our soul takes us. What's next for that little poet? That little poet. What's next for you in the next five to ten years from now? Five to ten years, man. I'm trying to get this stuff going to where it's just self sufficiently. I got the label going on. Shout out to my brother Cello, my, you know Cello, Cello, Cello. We got a, a brand going called Made, making anything, do everything. Okay. Made Legends, you know. Okay. Um, me and him started that. He got a great concept with that. Um. But yeah, I really ultimately want to make that a label and just a brand, you know. Right. Um, um, I know re 
not really five, ten years, but like this year, yeah, I'm trying to drop this album, you know. Okay. Uh, Mango. 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 Oh, Mango. I don't. Mango. I don't want to hear no stripper named Peaches. Her name gotta be Mango. Mango. Let let her come over here, please. The Mango go to her now. <laughs> Mango go fall in his lap. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Ah, we got a bad letter though. <laughs> no, mango. Good. Okay, drop the new music. Okay, let me ask you. Now you just dropped mentality. Pressure, pressure, hard pressure. You just dropped mentality in June. Ju- July, not June. July. January. January. I dropped Mimi at the top in July. Okay. Fashion. Why put out another album so fast? I don't think it's so fast. Um. I think I'm doing the music. Um, I have a lot more. I would really like to put out the music faster, but I kind of care. Why faster? Um, I want people to hear this. This, yeah. this shit that I'm doing is, is is amazing. Yeah. So okay. You understand? Do you feel like it can people can get eat too much? Because sometimes people I'm starting here with so many different with now with streaming era we can just drop music anytime. Of, of course. So you know you always wanna. Pace it, and I before I had a big problem with um, hoarding music. Uh, yeah, um, where I, I, I had a lot of good songs. Why do people do that? I'm curious. Um, I don't know why people do it, but I think everybody has their own reasons, insecurities, this and that. But I, I was looking for some type of per- perfection mm. that is unattainable when you first start something. Right. You know? And um, I um, I guess I was insecure about like. Um, it's real king talk. Right what, I, what I want to sound like, so you know, I, I was saying that my excuse was I wanted it to be perfect. You know, I was looking for perfection, but really, I didn't think it was good enough at yeah. that time. And really, I didn't. Or, or I had some songs where I didn't feel like people were listening hard enough to where I, I saw the worth of that song to be a little bit more than it would have been appreciated. This one time. Honestly. So I didn't, it was kind of like a, don't cash the gems to pig swine, not to call my pig, you know, but yeah, I didn't want it unappreciative because I, I, it came from a place and I, and I put my worth and my value yeah. on it, and um, so for that, I didn't feel like it was even worth it to share. Well, that's real. I got an episode too, I ain't put it out yet too. I got, I still, I still do it, I still have songs that, it's not even on this album. Harder. I got this in the vault. It's in the vault. It's in the vault. I'm trying to drop it. It's just now. It's just finding ways to drop it. You know, like you said, it's a different era. You know, it's a lot of people dropping. It's a lot of people. And I just want. I just need people to listen. So once they listen, it's 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 over and done with. One thousand. That's facts. So you did briefly mention that you are in the process of creating a stronger foundation for your label. Definitely for myself, for my label, for every everyone. So why create a label and not join a label? Um, because I love my city. Oh, why I mean, not join a label and then create the label? Because I, I guess I don't like after that job thing. Well, even before that, it's, I, it's the thing of someone giving you money. I, I'm really don't really like the label idea. If you know all the all the favorite artists, they had label issues yeah. <laughs> one yeah. time or another. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not a yeah. big fan of labels. Okay. Um. I think if you um, the labels is really about the money, right? So if you really need money, right? That's what it is that you need. Then I mean, why not just take out a loan? Because that's what you're doing anyway, right? They're giving you advances, things that you have to pay back. And I don't know if sometimes it's a good situation depending on, um, I guess numbers and, and terms and yeah. you know, and depending on your living situation, maybe. Just, just a lot of things. Yeah, right. So I'm not saying, of, of course, if you know, I get, you know, good some good numbers, good. Like my empire, good got thirty million right now for you. I gotta look at the it's the most. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Just wait, thirty million for what? <laughs> what I gotta do for thirty million? Yeah, I, yeah. Hey man, nah, wait a minute. What I gotta? Yeah, do? Let me read yeah, this yeah. contract real quick. Nah, 30, man, that yeah. sounds good to be true. Too good. Hey man, right now, just right now, man. Right? Yeah. We gonna see. No, I might take thirty million and deal with the consequences later. You, hey, you got thirty million, you might yeah. go ahead and come sign me right now. We yeah. might have to. <laughs> hey, shit, hey, no, man. they just can't have my old royalties. They can't have the uh, royalties and shit. They can't have my publishing. 
Y'all better watch for the thirty million, million cause this shit worth this shit worth billions. My music is worth billions, so Facts. it's like so potentially I want to you know have my legs and my kids and anybody you know to be still be able to eat off of it. You yeah, know that's real. Kind of like oh when DJ Khaled be making his son the executive you on know, the album and all that. I want my kids to be better than me. You know, well, yeah. I, if I you know if I even go that way, I don't have any kids. Ah, yeah, hey. We ain't got no kill, kids. Kill, 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 kill. Uh, ladies, so, ladies, ladies. Number, uh, we don't have no kids. Um, so they're the poet. Me all kids, your attention. You they love the kids, you know. They love the children, but me, I don't have any right at this point, you know. And shout out to my lady. I ain't trying to talk to nobody, but ladies, <laughs> don't get this. Don't don't get this king, man. He real bad. He already got thirty million. I'm trying to come get him right but now. But no, no, I love, I love Dallas though, and um, I just want, you know, I feel like the thing about Dallas is there's so much talent here. Yeah. But the infrastructure, there's none. Yes, there's right. Like, nobody ever left and just comes back and creates this, you know, platform or infrastructure, anything, anything. Like you go somewhere else. Queens podcast, y'all. That's why I'm here. They have, you know. But so, you know, um. I ain't gonna lie, man. You saying that, <clears throat> yo, Beezy? Hey, I need, hey, hey, I need that interview, man. Cause a lot of people saying you ain't repping Dallas, bro, and you ain't supporting anybody. I'm, I'm hey, trying man, to help you out, bro. Hey, don't, don't put that on my interview. Hey, shout out to uh, Yellow Beezy, man. Hey, hey, that's the dog. Shout out, shout out to all the artists out of Dallas doing big things, doing good things. Man, man for any, real. any artists making music, and Dallas is doing a good thing. Yeah. I also talk to your manager too, man. Oh, Absolutely. We need to schedule something. I ain't forgot. We need to schedule something. Let me ask you this. With all of the things going on regarding Mo3, LBs, and so forth, all of the um, allocations, how do you feel when it comes to dealing with rap beef in the industry? <laughs> no, rap beef. Well, if rap beef comes, I'm not even gonna get on hold now, but. Got the bed, but my name is Dele the Poet. I ain't got no rap beef. Perfect. Now that we're in the area, the era of clout chasing and streams, because everything's a waste off of streams. How would you handle somebody trying to clout chase, start trying to bash you? Now say, hey, somebody just got the blue. Hey, Dele Poet, fuck you, fuck your music, uh, man. You know you're gonna deal with that in life. Things. You deal with problems everywhere, you know? Right. We're not gonna wish those problems there. When problems come, we go handle those problems, you understand? So, oh, yep. So, no, I'm not that. wishing any problems. I don't want any any problems with yeah. anybody. Why Why would you be bringing problems to me? For what, for what wow. reason? You understand? Yeah. But, if, if I have to, I can handle my own self. I'm not be small boy, you understand? <laughs> we, no, but honestly, I don't want, like, why, 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 why are we, what, what are we doing? What are we beefing about? Exactly. Who is the best? You're not better than me. I'm my own person. I'm not competing with you anyway. Okay. I have a good question now. So, what is No, but outside of, like, that part, um, towards the oh, cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not out of bad. Um, so, just so y'all can follow up on the question, I asked, Dead little poet! Dead little poet! How would he be able, would he take an opportunity to do a rap battle against an artist that already has a, a little foundation of a fan base that's like popping and all that? I mean, I'm not finna just do it for no clout, but if, but if, but if like, hey, like, you know, you if they, they set something up like get some money or something, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. why not? I, I don't yeah. fuck rap, I don't fuck money, I ain't got it. It's just rap? Yeah. Yeah, rap I mean, I ain't. What, what, it's rap battle? Yeah, please. I ain't, I ain't never rap battle before, though. Just, just take like your best song. And shit. Oh, my best song against yeah. another? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a done deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a done deal, we going. Okay, okay. Whatever, you know, whatever that is, we, that's, a, that's a win win. Hey, just for all y'all know, soon after I got some good content coming out for y'all after the next week, got a lot of musical content. It may have a few rap battles if I can put something <laughs> together, man. It's like, a lot of stuff is going crazy. So, if you could take your whole career and just move it anywhere, where would you go? If I could just take my career and move it. Yeah, so let's say, yeah, you got the whole world in your hands. Say you got enough money to just move anywhere. Where would you go? 
Man, I have a couple places, but like, I know. I know people say Atlanta is like the musical place, but or Atlanta and LA. What? Would you go there or would you go anywhere else? You saying I have like with all the money that I need? You have to go. go you take all. You we build a whole studio. Like that. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go to Africa. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. say I have money. Yeah. Uh, money, uh, Africa is the place. If you have, if you have money. Yeah. <laughs> you go live in Africa. Africa not sweet. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so, what did you? Say, oh, you, well, you did say earlier. In this case, y'all don't know. I'm gonna ask him. You know, would he take his career and just move out there into Africa and just stay out there and just try to pop off out there? And y'all, if y'all take some time. Y'all watched the very beginning. He did say some time and say he was out there for about three months, you said? Yeah, three months. Doing. I've been uh, out there a couple times. But 1,000. Last time I was out there for three and a half months. That's real. Doing music surrounded by the military, right? No, I was doing music everywhere, but that was like one situation where I was. Yeah, okay. You know, but yeah, that's dope. That's good music, but a lot of. Okay. So. I met a lot of artists. Shout out to. Uh, Joel, shout out my guy and this is Cracker, shout out my dude Triple Z, shout out uh, Joel, King with Kenny's music. Man, I met so many artists. Shout out Vector, shout out Sexy Still. Oh, this is a day job, bro. Man, it's, it's fire, like, it's honestly. It's you know, only the day food now, bro. It's legendary. Anything that I do is legendary, so. That's facts. Um, it's an honor to be here, and if you're feeling anything, you know, that's my goal with the music. I want people to feel the music. So it's not, you know, Falak Kuti, he said that, you know, he said, um, it, it's, it's not music if you can't feel it. That's what that deep. And that's true because yeah. music is vibrations, that's you know? Cool. So if it doesn't make someone want to move. Okay, I want to, now, something. if you don't mind sharing a little bit of your experience in Africa, when going to different studios, how is the production? Is it like? Man, amazing. No? Like, I, I, the one thing that was crazy to me when I first went out there, I guess I should have understood this, but I didn't, was that I went out there and, um, you know, I was trying to push to do African music because I'm in Africa, you know, right. so I wanted, but they were like, no, we have American beats, foreign yeah. beats, you know, yeah. trying to hip hop beats and shit. I'm like, what y'all make? You yeah. Know? So I'm listening, I'm like, damn, this shit hard. Yeah. Okay. But it was on like industry level shit, so I'm like, damn, okay. I'm like, these kind of sound, you know, these are crazy. Like, why are you not, you know, I'm just, I'm, I, I realized that making Afro beats, I don't know, hard, it's harder. It's more like, it was like more stuff involved. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I was just like, okay, they yeah. could make those kind of easily and then go back to, yeah. it was kind of a little more taxing. Okay. So it's, my guy came in with the uh, sandwich to help fire it up. I was trying not to make any noise because he's sure. Yeah, you hear, man. It's good y'all didn't know. Where you get it from? <laughs> well, hey, you want me to bring you one? Free? Mm hmm. Yeah. I got you one second. Okay, right. bro. Nick, you gotta pay. I got my car, too. Say what? You gotta pay for I got my car, so. You, 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 you. I already set the register and stuff down. I can get it for him. Oh, man. So you can. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> all right. Yeah, man. You can take care of you, buddy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like this place. So, when coming up, okay, why did you choose Mango? Mango. Yeah. For your next album. Because Mango's a fire now. Yeah. yeah. Mango's a fire. Okay, so what can your fan base and, the, and for people who want to check out Dead Point, what can they expect from your album? They can expect um, my best project to date. Um, a lot of just uh, energy. Very sweet project. Um, I have um, I have a lot of things on that project. It's, it's, it's not it's not gonna be. It's very short and sweet. It's not too much. But um, will, and this will be an album, right? Hmm? Will, will this be an album? Definitely an album project. Whatever you want to call things. Like so I was just gonna know, ask you. I don't really care. It's a project, you know. Everything I do is an album. You know, the songs that yes, I'm making yes, are yes. not are not mixtape songs or whatever you want to call it. Okay. These are all, when you listen, you're gonna feel something. That's dope. Okay. So why do you just, why take that approach to just straight album? Some people just want to do mixtapes and so forth. Like, what's the difference? Some people, from my understanding, I think, from what I've heard, that mixtapes are more of a, of a, like, what? 
it's still your work, but it's a sample platter compared to an album. It's so, so more you put your soul into it, it's a lot harder. You know, that's that's the thing that was confusing because for me, I put my soul into everything that I do. I put, I'm not without my soul anytime. Yeah, you know? he's so, good. That's dope. No, it's true, man. <laughs> that's so, good. That's good. Why? You know, why would I even waste my time? Yeah. So, like, especially in this day, it's just, I feel like it's just what you call it. It's just labels that we like to give things, you right. know? So with me, I know how people see albums. Well, if this is how you see albums as these big, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. It is what I say it is anyway. Mm, yeah, 1,000, 1,000. Now, you did mention labels and the reason why you wouldn't work with labels, right? I, mean, I didn't say that. Well, no, 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 not that you wouldn't work with labels. Man, don't, don't, no, 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 I'm trying to get the bag too, though. <laughs> Don't throw away my bag. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. a, it's a, it's a, I don't hey, think so. So, with you creating your own label as well, when coming, when we have an artist who wants to say, who wants to sign to you and sign to your label. If they come and say, well, look, I know all these bad things about labels, what makes yours different? Um, well, he already messed up because, I mean, I'm not finna. If he coming to me like that, he already don't believe in him. He don't believe in us. Man. Like if I'm if I'm coming to him, then I'm already laying out what's gonna be done. You know, so it's not like he probably won't even really have that opportunity. Definitely. If he's coming to me questioning like that, it's like I'm not really okay. looking for you that's, anyway. Yeah, that's dope too. Okay, now let's say you do approach his labels like that. So <laughs> you know, when when you would, so let's say anytime you look for. Talent or any artist to feature on a, on a song. What sounds do you look for? Or is it a certain type of flow? Um, or do you all Co collaborations? Look for? Yeah. Like um, um, I really don't try to look for collaborations. I really don't even really like. No, I love collaborations. Let me not say I don't like them, but I would rather give my own mind. But I would rather them happen organically. Mm -hmm. I would rather them happen. With just happen. I don't like really force things, right. especially with music. Right. So like, I just like the it's a, the energy to be really organic. Okay. So is it possible that you may have a adult female rapper on there on your own makeup? If if if, if you can find one. Oh no, one. we definitely have one. We definitely have a female, not a female rapper, but a singer. A singer? Okay, 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 that's dope. I wrote a song. Interesting here. Okay. So. Okay, uh, someone took me to. Okay. Well, everybody, I don't want to take too much time. Like, maintenance is coming in. And. What up, boy? We are about to this sign up. He's doing an interview here. I'm not sure if we need to wait or anything. Oh, no, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Sorry, yeah, cool. Yeah, go ahead. You need something like that. All right, cool. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Um, that's why. My chief decision is to go. I'm gonna keep that part in there too. So y'all know he's staying with Kings and Queens. I don't believe I had a be. Say. So man, so <laughs> I was trying to avoid the swine, but it's all we got right now. I got sausage and bacon. For sure. So everybody you got egg, you got egg and cheese, right? And some jelly over there. I'm not trying to mess up your shit, man. Right, yeah, I'm good. They got, some, they got some jelly over there, too? No, I don't have any jelly. All right. Yeah. Get out. Man, say, y'all get y'all somebody that y'all can't rely on, man. One, that's a go. So, people, 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 I want you all to understand that that little poet, that little poet, the mango all, is coming soon. Hey, mango is coming soon. Mango will be dropping soon. When the mango drops, and uh, be sweet. And I also will drop that a boy link in the in the description so y'all can get to him and his music. Go and listen to that mentality if you haven't heard it already while you're waiting on it to drop. The mentality dropped January, early January, January 21st. It's fire. It's a great introduction to my sound. It's a great introduction to my music. Uh, what I what I'm thinking about my mentality. You know. Wow. So just uh. Yeah. And also tap in. On all platforms. Check in. And uh, all of them. And don't 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 try. Don't try. Don't try. Don't and skim through it either. Don't do that, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I am I am a victim of doing so. 
I'm a man of my word. I I I admit when I fucked up. You know, this one I fucked up cause I heard a good four songs in that bitch and I regret not listening to the rest of that shit. Cause that shit was fucking right. bomb, bro. Right. On some deep shit. <clears throat> and I promise you, I ain't just saying it cause he's here. Okay, the money, yeah. <laughs> no, bro. Big facts. And before I close this out, I want to thank. Yeah, my brother, I do be like hey, did. I right, shout out my nigga Liza. I right, shout out Dallas University. Mm -hmm. Shout out Dallas University. I almost now forgot. Shout out my nigga. Everybody in there. I'm for the name. Everybody in there. I'm gonna forget names and shit. Yeah, man. Shout out my nigga Kane Wanda. This nigga uh, J Fan. Uh, Jack. Big T. He shit. Uh, shout out my nigga Ricky Blue. For real. Big shout out my nigga Ricky Blue. Real ass nigga, you need to go ahead and get that interview going for real, for real. Gotcha. From Pleasant Grove, dope MC. Right? Really, really dope. You gotta get that um, dope. Oh, really, everybody dope. But, uh, shout out to my nigga Laser. He was on that Get Money song. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Bro, y'all ain't Bro, go check out Get Money. Can't let my brother do me like bro. he did. Dog, that shit was fucking sicko mode. Y'all better tell Drake got something to worry about. Man. Hey, you got a new feature. Shout out to Drake. Hey, no. Nah. get that stimulus package built that way. Man, say, you finna tag him right in it. I already told him. I DM'd him the other day, told him I'm on the way. No, nah, big facts. No, nah, seriously. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, no, I didn't, not, I didn't everybody. Hold on, let me name everybody. Shout out my nigga Hollywood, Hollywood Kurt. Nigga, shout out Hollywood, Sunny. She ain't Dallas University, but yeah, she a big thing in Dallas right now. Okay. Um, what is it? Who am I forgetting? I done forgot some people. Shout out my nigga Wap, 50 Shot Wap. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, Jimmy, shout out my nigga Jimmy, Slim Jimmy. He got mm. black hearted hair dropped it. He got the uh, Jimmy Hendrix coming soon. Yeah, okay. Hey, man. Uh, shout out to that nigga uh, Young White. Okay. Ugly glad boy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to, you can't let me forget nobody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Take time, you got it. It's one more, I know I'm forgetting like 13. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to DJ Holiday. Shout out my nigga B. Lou. Shout out my there nigga B. Lou. Okay. That one thing, was that 13? It's probably, I don't even know. And these are all your little people too? Shout out uh, Mucho De Niro. Mucho! His label? Huh? All label mates? Man, it, it, Dallas University. That's what, it, that's what it really is gonna be a, a label, really. That's what it really need to be, that's what it really is. Man, so, big facts on all of that as well. Cause all the people who we shout out, y'all hey, show some love and respect to the dude, cause he did take some time to think about each one of y'all name. That's big facts on that. Homie uh, did try. <clears throat> I probably still forgot somebody watching. <laughs> it, 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 hey, you tried your hardest, hey, man. man. But for everybody who's watching, like, share, subscribe, and I gotta thank each and every one of y'all for taking time to watch this. And also, please share with your mom, your dad, your granny, your papa, your granny, your rabbit, your cat, your dog. Where's your mom? Show her. Where's your mom? Where is she? Show her. She God. needs to see it. God damn. She don't want her to see it, but she, she, she's already seen it. Mm. And uh, ask your mom. Mm. Mm, that's your mother now. That, bro, you should put that in there. Now, that's your heart. It's, it's, it's a movement. Dog. I'm telling you now for a reason. Oh, God damn, nigga. Can I join? And now. Uh, oh, where is your mom? And now, uh, where is your mom? Where is she? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> man, man. man, we out of here, man. King the Queen's podcast. Dead a poet. 1,000, man. This is it. Dead little poet. Go get that. Mentality mango coming soon. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't put that in there. You're gonna put that in there. Uh, shout out to King and King. Hold on. It's gonna be bloopers like a. Yeah, hey, it's not good. Sh shout out to King and Queens podcast. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do one more time. Hold on. Hey, it's that little poet, and you are now tuned in with the King and Queens podcast. Dang. Y'all go subscribe, follow all that. Ha. Follow, follow, follow.